my friends! Welcome to the 11th episode of the item guide series. Today we will talk about 3 attack items. War Axe, Endless Battle and Blade of Despair. But before we start, the 5 shoutouts of today goes to Typical Fish, Superior, Raf John, Cinnamon Bread and Tristan. As always, write something nice in the comments. Also, I just launched my new discord server. The goal is that you guys can connect to each other and find non-toxic teammates. From the comment section I can say that 99.9% .9 of you guys are really nice people. So hopefully we will see the rise of the non-toxic and non-cancerous players. Shout out to Luis by the way. I totally stole that from your comment because I loved it. I think it's not the most important that you are the best player in the world. And since I know that you guys all want to improve your gameplay because why would you watch my videos otherwise? I'm sure that it will be a nice experience for everyone. Since this is the first time that I have launched a discord server, feel free to use the suggestion channel for new channels that you guys want or in general any suggestion you would like to make. I have no mods yet and I'm not sure if we need some, but if anyone is interested in becoming one, you can apply for that already. The link for the server is in the description box. Now that that's out of the way, let's get into the meaty part. First we will go through the stats of War Axe. You get plus 45 physical attack, plus 550 HP and plus 10% cooldown reduction. This item has one effect and it's called Fighting Spirit. Once you deal damage to any unit, you receive one stack every second. Each stack increases your physical attack by 9 and your physical penetration by 3. You can have a maximum of 8 stacks and at full stacks you also increase your movement speed by 20%. So the maximum bonus you can receive is plus 72 physical attack and plus 24 physical penetration. Importantly, marksmen, mages and supports only receive 33% of the effects from the stacks. So don't build it on heroes with this primary role. I'm using jawhead for the demonstration. When I deal damage to any unit, you can see with this little icon that I receive stacks. If you're not dealing any damage for 3 seconds, the effect is over. So if I deal continuously damage, I can keep my stacks up for a long time. This effect also has no cooldown. So directly after my stacks are gone, I can start to receive new stacks immediately. So who is this item for? It's in general made for heroes who can deal continuous physical damage and are also able to stay long in a battle. There are many examples like Sun, Argus, Jawhead, Alpha or Belmont. But you can also use it on assassins like Hayabusa or Saber. Just make sure that your stacks are up when you want to use your ult to further increase the damage of it. Now let's talk about Endless Battle. We start again with the stats. This one has many. You get plus 65 physical attack, plus 5 mana regen, plus 250 HP, plus 10 cooldown reduction, plus 5% movement speed and plus 10% physical lifesteal. <sighs> this item has two effects. The first one is called Divine Justice. In the next 3 seconds after you use the skill, your next basic attack will deal 60% of your current physical attack as additional true damage to your enemy. This effect has a 1.5 seconds cooldown. The second effect is called Chase Fate. When Divine Justice is triggered, your movement speed will be increased by 10% for a short amount of time. I'm using Jawhead again for the demonstration. I currently have 300 physical attack. After I use my second skill and attack with my basic attack, I deal 180 extra damage as true damage. The extra movement speed is so short that it's quite difficult to show, but I tried it anyway. So who is this item for? It can be used by all physical damage heroes who can switch between skills and basic attacks in order to be able to trigger this effect as many times as possible. Examples are Jawhead, Ruby, Zilong, Cho, Yi Sun Chin or Leslie. There are so many heroes who can benefit from this item. Once you've built it, make sure that you use a basic attack in the 3 seconds time window so you can trigger the effect. Also make sure to build items who increase your physical attack. Blade of Despair is an awesome item for this for example. Nice transition, yes! Let's talk again first about the stats. You get a whopping plus 160 physical attack, that's by far the highest amount you can get from a single item and plus 5% movement speed. It has one effect and it's called despair. When you attack an enemy unit, which HP is below 50%, your physical attack is increased by 25%. 
This lasts for 2 seconds and has no cooldown. It also takes effect before the damage is dealt that triggers this effect. If you attack an enemy, whose HP is below 50% in this 2 seconds window, the time is resetted to 2 seconds again. So in total, you can get plus 200 physical attack from this item alone, when the passive is active. And therefore, also increase the true and therefore, also increase the true damage from endless battle by 120. This is just one example of combos that can work really well in your build. I'm using Jawad again for the demonstration. As you can see, my physical attack increased from 343 to 429 after the enemy's HP dropped below 50% and it stays active while I'm beating him down. So, who is this item for? Well, it's in general for everyone who wants to increase the physical attack massively, so you can build it on any hero that deals physical damage. Except tanks of course, but this should be obvious. Importantly, for most heroes it makes sense to build this item as one of their last items. Firstly, many have other core items that are much more important for them, like items that increases your attack speed, your crit chance or your lifesteal ability. And secondly, it's also very expensive, so you would run around without any core item for a very long time if you will build it as your first core item. So, start with building the most important core items for your hero first and then build it in the mid to late game. Now, go and check out the whole item guide playlist. You will need it at the end of the challenge for the make your own build guide. Also, don't forget to join the discord server. See you over there!